Well, I think most young people, when they think about peer-to-peer, -peer, they think about file sharing, which is the ability to download music and, and, and films on the internet. Peer-to-peer, -peer, again, it means the ability to work with anyone without asking permission. Um, and especially it works with, uh, you know, immaterial things like knowledge, code and design. Every computer in the system is a peer that can connect with any other computer in the system. So it's a relational system, if you like, like a way to relate to other people, where you don't have to ask permission, and where everybody is considered as a peer, meaning an equal. When I was young, I had to go to a library every Saturday, it took time, it, you know, gas, and so I was much more dependent on schooling, and personally I didn't like school. <laughs> Today, um, you have much more possibility as a young person to directly go for what, what you need to develop yourself. And so it makes you more autonomous of institutions. But it's not just that, it's actually the ability to work together and then create actually an economy around it. For example, the free software economy, the open design economy, the open hardware economy. You have people all over the world collaborating on a design, open source car, open source agricultural machines, all kinds of things. And then you can actually make it yourself in a hacker space, a maker space, a co-working space. And I think this changes the world. It's a world of networks. Communities of people doing what they like and creating com economies around what they like and what they need. You know, when are you happy? Well, we are mostly happy when we are with our friends. Well, imagine that your whole life would be like that. That you would actually make things with your friends. And the only thing we need to do is to extend the conditions so that more people can do this more of the time in, in more aspects of their life. If I was young, I would, I would draw three circles. The first circle is passion. What makes you happy? You should be doing what you like, what makes you happy. Second circle is skills. Right? If you have a passion and you don't know how to do it, you have to learn how to do it, otherwise you cannot contribute to it. And the third circle is what do people need? If you have only two other three circles, you can't make a living. You need the three. You need something you're passionate about, something that you know how to do, and something that other people need. If you have those three, you'll have a good and happy job.